Hello friends, Revolve 44 here. Today I have a, just something different to show you. It's uh, something I haven't showed before. Just a basic um, gun cleaning video. Uh, I, this is a gun I have out is a gun I previously reviewed. It's a, a Ruger Vaccaro. I got somebody else joining me here today too. My boy Grady. He likes to uh, say hello in some of my videos. He's a handsome, handsome boy. Here you go, honey. Uh, okay, let's get back to the video. Uh, yeah, what I want to do is just show basically what I, how I clean all my guns. You know, it my it may vary a little bit from one gun to another, but it's uh, basically the same every time with maybe a few differences here and there um what i always do is i always take the grips off because i don't want to get the grips too oily or uh, with dirty oil so i'll take them off right away get them out of the way I can I'm be a little stubborn here. There we go. One side. that aside push that through boy these things are really on there tight fit You have to just get them off evenly because they're they have a little pin on here to that's the locating on the on the grip so that's what makes them fit a little bit tighter okay the next thing i do is i always take the cylinder out to do that you just press on this pin here First, you open up the, the, the loading gate and you press on this pin and you pull this pin out here. Once that pin is removed and the cylinder will come out, that makes it easier to clean everything. Now, once I do that, I'll take my little air, this portable air can here, and I'll just give everything a little blow off in case there's anything leaks. Any loose particles of uh, gunpowder out of the way. And next, what I usually do is I'll take my my ballast all clean. This is what I use to clean all my guns. It's great, great product. And uh, I'll I'll spray it on all the surfaces that I'm going to clean. Give it a chance to give the ballast all a chance to work. Spray all the pots down. Get this inside the barrel, let it run down. Give that a, a minute to stop working.
Yeah, like I said, it might vary a little bit from one gun to the next to the next uh, about how you how you clean these things, but basically it's the same way every time. Not a whole lot different to do. You have your you know, your cleaner, your your lubricator after you're all done, and you have your uh, your brushes, your brush, and your uh, your pad holder put your uh, pads through the bore of the, of the gun and through the cylinder chambers. After that, it's just a process of how you want to do it. Um, nothing, uh, it's not rocket science, it's just basic cleaning. I'll just take a brush and I'll clean everything off. Get all your uh, gun powder off of there. Do the same thing with the cylinder. Cylinder face. Clean the outside of it. This side here gets pretty black. Uh, they make a cloth. It's, it's a birchwood casey um, cleaning cloth that will take all this blackness off of here from the cylinder blast. But this is something. This is something that you'll get on the gun every time you shoot it. So I'm not really that fussy about cleaning that. As long as I get clean off what's you know loose every time. That's what I'll do with that. And you get inside of your, here, which is, um, it loosens it all up. And you can wipe it off after. get the uh, forcing corn area extra extra good and we'll keep that as clean as possible and keep a, sometimes I do this with gloves to keep my hands a little bit cleaner. Then I'll, um, I'll take my pad holder here. Take a pad, spray a little ballistol on it. So this isn't none of this stuff is written in stone. You can you can do it different ways but this is basically the way I do it. it seems to work fine for me it keeps everything pretty clean and lubricated just take this and run it through each cylinder chamber I didn't fire this gun a whole lot Last time I used it, so shouldn't be that dirty. Yeah, just get look for every one, loosen things up. You see, there's quite a bit of dirt on there. I think I only put like a box of ammunition through this last time I used it, so it's probably not real dirty. Um, you can also, if you, if you think you have a lot of buildup in there, you can put a brush on there and 
do the same thing with the brush. Run the brush through. But it probably isn't that much in there. If you only just put a box of ammunition through, through it, you do the same thing with the barrel. Hi Grady, yep, I'm still cleaning my gun. Yeah, you wanna put a few pads through this. Make sure you get all, all the dirt out. Like I said, it's not rocket science, it's just basic cleaning. You'll know when it's clean enough because your, your pads will come out pretty clean after. Even that, that, that there is pretty clean. You look through there, it's, it's already like a mirror. And do the same thing with your, your barrel. See, that's still pretty dirty. So, Put another one through that. You can see what I mean about taking the grips off. You don't want to get any extra dirt on your grips if you have a nice new set of grips on your gun take the uh, you take your pad then and wove your cylinder face again Wipe down the outside of the cylinder. Get inside the crane. Give that a good wipe down. Yeah, this is uh, this is something I do every time I use a gun. I'll I'll clean it because you don't you never know how long it's going to be before you clean it again. So you don't want too much time to go by and have all that sediment build up on there and maybe have it be harder to get off when you do decide to clean it. So. It's, pr it's a pretty relaxing thing to do actually. You sit down here in a peace and quiet and my uh, my cleaning station here and get all this done. I kind of do it at my leisure because I'm retired now so I go to the range and sometimes I don't clean it. As soon as I get home I'll goof off and do something else. Go out with my wife and shopping and stuff. And I have, you know, plenty of time now that I'm retired. So. But I find it kind of relaxing to come down here and do this. Nobody bothering me. Except my cat. Yeah. He, uh, he demands a lot of attention. He's kind of like a dog. 
So you come down here and yell at me to pat him. But that's basically all you have to do. Comes out pretty clean. Throw another pad through there. Like I said, you're going to be firing these things again. These things aren't, they're not trophies. They're, they're tools. So keep them pretty well maintained. They're going to perform for you when you need them. See, that's coming out pretty clean now. Not much left on there at all. Hit the cylinder chambers again. Yeah, it's not much left on there at all. It's coming out pretty clean. Wipe off the outside again. Hit the outside of the firearm a little bit. The front of the barrel. The muzzle. Like I said, if these things aren't, to me, these aren't trophies to put in the gun cabinet and these are tools. Keep them clean and they'll, they'll perform well for you every time you take them out. That's pretty, pretty clean. And all you gotta do is, uh, put your cylinder back in. Open this up. that lined up with your pin that started push the other pin in and that goes in just like that check it for function good and take another pad and wipe things down again these 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 rugers are really beautiful this thing is so I was so happy with this this is a fairly new gun and uh I, was I took it to the range and I was so happy with the performance of it, the accuracy. I was even shooting from 25 yards and it was hitting almost right on. It was dropping, it was, it was dropping a little bit. I had like a, a six o'clock, not a six o'clock, yeah. Yeah, six o'clock hold. And um, it, it was, um, I was getting nice, Pretty nice groups from 25 yards away but with my eyes it's really not that's really saying something because 
being an elder. Yeah, it's not quite as good as they used to be, but uh, from long distance, my vision is still remarkably good. I don't wear glasses for driving or anything. My wife is a little bit jealous of that. But after I do this, basically I'll I'll take some uh, some lubricating oil and I'll just hit some of the spots that. I need to be lubricated where there's any kind of friction going on. Hit the uh, the loading gate area. Here where the cylinder is. That a little bit of lubrication. Need a little bit in the trigger mechanism. wipe off any excess you might have. That's basically it. Basically that's just about it. Uh, just gotta put your put your grips back on. Uh, pretty much all there is to it. There isn't a whole lot to cleaning a fire up. You just want to make sure you get all the, the grime off. And then you know, next time you're ready, you, you want to use it, you'll be all set to go. You won't have to do any cleaning at all. You'll be ready to take it out and get out to the range and fire it. I have these fine tipped uh, Q-tips also that I sometimes use for getting to tiny small areas. These are kind of handy. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's all, all clean, ready to go for next time. If you get any, any oil on the on the grips, I would, you don't worry about that really, because uh, that'll get absorbed. This ballast all is uh, a great product. It's a great cleaner and lubricator. I think it's uh, helps richen the, the grips a little bit too. Well, there you have it. It's uh, that's basically everything that I do to clean a firearm. So, uh, thank you for watching. This is Revolver 44. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be bringing you more gun content in the next couple of weeks. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a merry Christmas, and we'll see you next year. Take care.